It's always fun to go last with the men. Um, Scott Hoagland, Virginia Intermont College, entering our fifth season. Um, change, that seems to be the, uh, the mantra around our campus. When many of you make the, the trek to Bristol this year to the confines of the Cobra Den, you're going to see a remodeled classroom building and all kinds of construction going on, which uh, for those of you who have been around our conference for a while to see construction on our campus is something that's kind of unique and different and something we're very proud of. Um, change also took place in our coaching staff. Uh, Patrick Lawson left us in March of last year and has been replaced with Chris Tolliver. Uh, Chris spent the majority of his coaching career coaching on the girls' side uh, over in eastern Kentucky. He's a Whitesburg native. Um, his family now resides in Somerset. The, our ranking in the preseason poll was obviously a reflection of his recruiting, not mine. Um, I will be the first one to tell you that. Our newcomers coming in um, are very capable young men. We feel like they're going to be great additions to our team. And uh, like many great assistant coaches, he's responsible for bringing them in. And he did a fantastic job. Um, those key newcomers, Justin Morris, transfer guard from St. Catharines College in Kentucky. Um, Justin is a tremendous athlete, played his high school ball at Louisville Ballard. Um, he's been a great addition, great kid. Uh, big things are expected from him. Terrence Scott from Nashville, Tennessee, transferred from Cumberland University, 6'4 um, point guard. And it has been interesting to watch rent wind sprints and those kind of things in practice because quite possibly he is the fastest kid I have ever coached, including Jimmy Ross. Um, and that has been a, a, nice, a nice battle to see. Um, Tylen Copeland from the beautiful streets of Las Vegas, Nevada, freshman point guard, 6'1". Uh, in our media guide, I've referred to him as a poor man's Rajon Rondo with a little bit better jump shot. And I'm sure Rajon will appreciate that. And then the, uh, the, the last of our newcomers, Cameron Johnson, 6'5 post player from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, big things are expected from him. Um, he kind of gives us that inside-outside presence with Black for a couple years after the graduation of Keaton Price. Um, and then, of course, our returning players, Daniel Ross is back, our leading scorer. Um, big things are expected from him. Of course, Jimmy's back for his senior year. All defensive team, led the conference in blocks, was top five in steals and top five in defensive rebounds. We can get him to put the ball in the basket more consistent. Um, he's going to do nothing but help us. Tyler Anders is back at the point guard position, top five in steals. We've got to get Tyler to increase his assist to turnover ratio. Um, Mark Webb Knight, top 10 in ACE, AAC in total rebounding, second on team in scoring, is back. He's in a position battle right now with a young man who is probably our most improved player, six foot six forward from Edgewood, Maryland, Joshua Hart. Um, Seven o'clock Sunday morning, Coach Tyler gets a text message, Coach, before I head to church, I'm on my way in the gym to get my shots up. Can you come unlock the gym to get me a ball out? Um, Seven o'clock on Saturday morning, he's in the gym. He's just turned into a gym rat, and uh, it's really starting to show with the game. Um, you know, and then our key losses um, probably aren't as significant as some of the others. Um, they're just, they're not. Um, Scotty Hendricks, who played the wing for his son and backed up at the point guard position, has transferred to King College. We wish him the best of luck with Coach Pitts. And then the other significant loss for us was Wade Bryant. Uh, Wade was about a 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guard that played on the wing for us. <coughs> could really shoot him, pretty good defender. He, of course, graduated last year. Um, and we're just excited. Um, we really are. We're excited about the product we put on the floor. Um, as a coaching staff, there's some things that we've got to do differently. Um, you know, uh, we've talked about the biggest thing for our guys was give them a system, give them some discipline, um, and then get out of their way and let them play. And that's that's where we are with things. Well, we're going to try to run. Um, we're going to try to press. We're going to trap, especially when we get into our gym, um, where you have to deal with shoes hanging over the floor and feet in the floor and everybody hanging all over the place. Um, that's a great a great environment to turn it on and really get after. Um, so that's where we are. We're excited about the season. Looking forward to the big things and, and hopefully making a step here. We get in the top half of the conference. Um, and, uh, and that's just where we are with things. Um, like everyone else, I want to echo to Milligan our appreciation for you guys putting this event on. It's been wonderful, and uh, we'll turn things over to the ladies. <laughs>